Okay, welcome back to um, Mr. Hassan's math channel. This is question number 10 from the paper 2, February, March 2020. Question 10 is about sketching graphs of functions. So it says sketch the graph of each function. So part A has the function y equals x minus 3. So we should realize that because the x has a power of 1 and there's no x in the denominator, this is a linear function. A linear function. Okay, a linear function gives a straight line. And this is in the form where y is a subject of the formula. So this is in the form y equals mx plus c. So we can see here that the m is a coefficient of x. So the m, which is the gradient, is 1. And the c is the y-intercept, which is a constant here. And we can see that that is equal to 3. So I know from this information that this line definitely passes through the point minus 3 on the y-axis. Okay, because when x equals 0, y equals 3. And I know that it has a gradient of 1. Okay, a gradient of 1, which you can write as a whole no as a fraction 1 over 1, which means this is a rise over the run. So for every 1, it goes up, it goes across 1. So it goes an equal number of spaces up as it does go across. So that means it's going to pass through 3 over here. Okay, and you can see that from when you put x, y equals 0, which is on the x-axis, when y equals 0, x equals 3. So we can then draw the line. We don't actually have to put this 3 in the x-axis there, but that's, that's helpful. So there we have y equals, y equals x minus 3 drawn. That's one mark. You don't have to even show any steps, really. You can just draw it straight away. Then it says y equals 1 over x. Now, y equals 1 over x is a different type of function. It's called a reciprocal function. Okay, now, a reciprocal function has x in the denominator. And when you have a x in the denominator, there's something strange that happens. When x is 0, y is undefined. So x cannot be 0. And when y is 0, if you put y equals 0, just say, say you did that, you'll have 1 over x equals 0. If you try to solve this, you'll end up with 0 equals 1, which is called a contradiction. So also, y cannot equal 0. So x equals 0, which is a, a vertical line going like down through 0, which is a y-axis, and y equals 0, which is a horizontal line going through 0, which is the x-axis. Those are called asymptotes. Okay, so you have a pair of asymptotes. You don't actually have to draw, draw this here. I'm just doing that for the sake of understanding. Okay, so this actually is called an asymptote. And this is called an asymptote. I've drawn it slightly further along so you can see. So x equals 0 is this line here, which is an asymptote. And y equals 0 is this line here, which is also an asymptote. So this curve can never touch these two lines. Okay. Now, how does y equals 1 over x behave? Now, I, I mean, most of you will have memorized that it looks like this. Okay. And memorizing it is fine. But understanding why it looks like that is even better. So, for example, if I were to make x something really small in the positive side, like, for example, x equals, say, x equals 1 first. x equals 1, y equals 1. Okay, that, say that's that point over there. If I made x equals a half, you have 1 divided by a half. What happens when you divide 1 by a half? You have to multiply it by the reciprocal, which is 2. So when x equals a half, y equals 2. So it's going to go up like this. And when x equals, for example, a hundredth, Supposing x equals 100th, 1 divided by 100th is going to be 100. So when x equals something really small, y is going to be something really big. So as, as x gets really small, y gets really huge. Okay, so it's going to go something like this. And as x gets really big, for example, if you make x into 100, y is going to be 100th. So it's kind of like the, the opposite. As x goes really big, y gets really small. So it's going to go something like this. That type of shape. Okay, I haven't drawn it so well here. It should be a bit smoother, but it's just a sketch. That's fine. And it will never, ever hit the y axis, the x-axis or the y-axis. Get closer and closer to it without hitting it. And if you make x negative, for example, uh, x is negative 1. Okay, that's over here. Y will also be negative. 1 over minus 1, so it's going to be over here. If you make x uh, a value like minus 100th, x is, y is going to be minus 100. So it's going to be a similar kind of situation, but on this side, where if x is minus 100, 
then y is going to be minus one hundredth. So y is going to get really small as x gets really, uh, you know, y is going to get really small in its magnitude close to zero, and x is going to get really big in its magnitude in the negative side. So it's going to look something like this. Again, it shouldn't have this little kink in there. Let me just uh, try to make it a bit smoother. So it'll have that kind of shape. Without ever touching the y or the x-axis, that's the shape of this curve. Let's keep it inside the axes. Uh, that's y, whoops, that's y equals 1 over x. And that's, you know, just drawing that is enough. Of course, it doesn't touch the x or y axis anywhere, and that's fine. So that's question 10, A and B. Um, if you would like to see other videos on this uh, paper, this paper 2, you can click on the playlist appearing over here. And if you want to see questions about graphs or functions, click on the play playlist over here. If you'd like to go to the paper 4 playlist, there should be a card up here you can click. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this icon in the middle of the screen somewhere. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again.